So it's been about 24 hours since I made the pickled grapes. Um, so the story, I promised the story yesterday. So pretty much I was watching um, the new season of Queer Eye and Anthony had mentioned pickled grapes. And I thought that was really interesting. So I've had, because I've had a coworker who was very much into, he wanted to pickle everything he could get his hands on pretty much. Um, but I never, I never seen him pickled grapes. I also worked at a restaurant in another country that they pickled a lot of different things. Did not see grapes. Um, so when Anthony mentioned it, I was very curious and wanted to try it. Now apparently, from what I've further gathered from a current coworker, he does have because she wanted to make the um, salad he talked about. I'm guessing in that same episode. And, um, which apparently is in one of his cookbooks. So I'm guessing the pickled grapes recipe probably is too. Did not know that. Um, so I just kind of, what I did was I searched the internet, um, for different pickling recipes. Um, kind of gathered all that information and, uh, kind of created my own. So I used sugar, obviously. <laughs> Vinegar and water were kind of the main ingredients. Um, I used more sugar than most of the other pickling recipes call for, simply because I wanted to keep the the sweetness. I wanted to up the sweetness of the grapes. Um, <laughs> just wanted to try something new. I don't know how that will work. Um, and I also used cinnamon sticks and vanilla as well in the pickling liquid. So I kind of... Um, simmered all of that together, uh, let the mixture cool, and then put the grapes in. So let's give it a try. It's nice. A nice um, sweetness with the tartness of the vinegar combined, and you can taste the cinnamon and vanilla really nicely there. Yeah. What I think I would do... Oh, there's the vinegar at the back of my <laughs> throat there. Um, I think what I would do next time is I would cut the grapes open before putting them in the pickling liquid. That way it really kind of more gets into the middle and mingles with the grapes and the skin isn't preventing it as much. Um, I mean, it does still somewhat get in as you can from the, from the stem, the hole from the stem. But I think if, if I were to cut the grapes in half at least, um, and let it in there, it would, it would definitely have created an interesting flavor balance. So um, yeah, so now I'm curious to try the salad that goes with this. Um, apparently the cookbook is very, very hard to get right now. <laughs> uh, my coworker's been trying to find it. So uh, when she does, I might have to uh, take a look at it and see. And maybe eventually, and maybe uh, pick it up for myself as well. And see how close I was with my pickling recipe to see how close it was to Anthony's recipe. Cheers. Enjoy.